if I'm sitting there at 10 o'clock at night and somewhere from my unconscious bubbles up the idea to go eat some chocolate ice cream, I could be, you know, halfway to the, to the freezer before I have time to think about it. To train my thinking to sort of look down at the threshold between my unconscious and conscious, that's where the will bubbles through, mm -hmm. you know, into my waking reality. And so without my mindfulness practice, I would have no ability to even look at that thought. Well, they're super important. Every skill starts with the basics for sure. If you don't have a mindfulness practice, then you simply stay unconscious because any habit or behavior is by definition unconscious until you observe it. Once you observe it, you say, oh boy, I really have a tendency to eat too much ice cream or I have a tendency to stay up too late and make excuses or whatever it might be. Once you start looking at it, as a detached observer and say, wow, look at me, I have this habit or I keep telling myself this story in my head to justify exactly what's led me to being obese or what's led me to losing jobs or what's led me to not being able to maintain relationships with the opposite sex or lovers or whatever it might be. And then now that you've put consciousness on it, it's changed. If you, if you think of a cup sitting in the dark if you can't see it you can't pour anything into it but once you see it you can say what can i use the cup for is it clean is it dirty is it useful is there more room for anything in it now the cup's not the same anymore because it's not isolated in the dark it's not it's not something that's unconscious it's actually a tool you can use and you got to decide what you're going to do with it or if it's even something worth using.